Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be updating my frame generation guide for Last of Us part 2. We'll show you how to use TLSS for upscaler in conjunction with XCSS frame generation. We'll use OptiScaler mod to achieve this. XCSS low latency mode will also work which will help in cutting down the latency. The guide will work on any PC with an RTX GPU. I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. This game officially supports TLSS and FSR frame generation. In-game FSR frame generation smoothing effect is very inconsistent. It's highly recommended to use XCFG if you have a PC with an RTX 20 or 30 series GPU. RTX 40 and 50 series GPU owners can simply use TLSS frame generation. Older builds of OptiScaler mod were causing the character's head to flicker with XCFG enable. Newer builds fix this artifact. I tried using the latest Preview 7 version 0.9 build of OptiScaler mod. XCFG was not working properly, it was getting disabled randomly. But everything worked fine with the older Preview 5 version 0.9 build of OptiScaler. Steam's winter sale is live right now. The game is selling for around Rs 2639 in India. In US, it's priced at around $40. This is with a 20% off discount. You can get the Steam version of the game at a cheaper price from Green Man Gaming with the XP program. In India, the game is selling for around 2 to 43 rupees. It's the cheapest price for the game. You can download OptiScaler mod from their Discord server. We'll give the link to their Discord in the description. This is the build that I'll be using. Version 0.9 PV5 20251031. Click on the .7z link here. The game comes with a slightly older version of TLSS for OptiScaler and DLSS auto exposure setting is disabled out of the box. I'll use NVIDIA app to override TLSS upscaler to version 310.3.0. We'll use TLSS debug overlay to verify the details of TLSS subscaler. We'll activate the overlay by executing the registry code provided by Emos. Just copy the lines. Create a new text file anywhere on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file. Right click. Open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file. Save. Close. Select the file, right click, open. Yes, okay, that's it. Open NVIDIA app. Click on graphics, click on the three dots here, click on refresh. From this list, select last of us two. Scroll down until you find this setting. DLSS overwrite model presets. Click on the pencil icon next to it and click on latest. I've already done it. Apply. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod, just open its archive file. Select the highlighted files, optiscaler.ini, optiscaler.tll, mods configuration and mod loader file, libxcss underscore fg.tll, xcss frame gen file, libxcss.tll, xcss super resolution file for dx12 and Vulkan APIs, libxcll.tll, xcss low latency mode file, fake nv api.ini, fake nv api.tll, fake nv api will replace the in game reflex implementation with xcss low latency mode, not using Nukem 9's mod, Vulkan version of fidelity effects not required. If you don't want to use FSR upscaler and FSR frame generation, you can skip copying all of the DX12 versions of fidelity effects files. Right click, copy. Open the game's install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage, click on browse local files. Paste everything here. Replace. We just need to change the name of optiscaler.tll file to dxgi.tll. Select the file, right click, rename, type dhgi. Here the mod has been installed. Enabling hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting is not a mandatory requirement for using XVFG, but if you have an RTX GPU, it's recommended to enable this setting. Right click anywhere on the desktop, click on display settings, click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings, and from here enable hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting. My monitor supports VRR, I've enabled the setting. Now just open NVIDIA control panel, I'm going to enable VSync from it. Click on manage 3D settings, click on program settings. From this drop down bar select last of us part 2, scroll down to then. From here enable VSync. My monitor is G-Sync compatible, I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on setup G-Sync and enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator, this step is optional. Click on display here and check this setting, G-Sync compatible indicator. We'll be using RTSS and Afterburner to show you the performance stats. Just open RTSS, click on setup here. 
scroll down to the end make sure enable frame rate limiter setting and in check nvidia reflex latency marker setting are disabled just enable use microsoft d2's api hooking setting now rtss should not interfere with optiscaler we are ready to run the game play games launcher will pop up options display mode full screen just make sure it's not set to exclusive full screen otherwise xcfg won't work full hd resolution upscaler dlss i'm using its quality preset transformer model sharpness level optional 5 reflex on frame generation disable for the time being fps cap set to 360 max vsync off basically using the high preset with post processing effects disable motion blur off depth of field off bloom off lens flare off camera shake chromatic aberration intensity film grain intensity lens dirt intensity set to nil lost the game straight away jump into downtown seattle press insert keyboard key to open optiscaler menu there it is make sure dlss upscaler is selected version 310.3.0 input in-game dlss upscaler txs spoofing off auto exposure setting is disabled dlss i'll enable it check the setting auto exposure under init flag section yeah it's on can be seen in dlss debug overlay render preset used is k this is the transformer model of dlss 4 frame generation disabled for the time being i'll enable optiscaler's performance overlay expand fps overlay section check the setting fps overlay enable full plus graph scale 1.3 Base resolution 720p upscale to full HD resolution. Save and I close. Okay, I'll enable one person close. This area is very heavy on the CPU. Sometimes shaders get compiled in the background. It will be marked by high CPU usage. Okay, here FPS is within a range of 90 to 100. That's good to see. VRAM usage is around 7.5 GB. Not observing any artifacts around our character model. I'll go this way. There is a very big open area nearby. The FPS stays close to 90. Gameplay experience is mostly smooth. No signs of stuttering. I had already played through this sequence before recording this video. So no shaders are getting compiled during this sequence. Yeah, this is the big open area that I was talking about earlier. Dismount. Yeah, FPS dropped to 70C. Not bad. 70 to 90 FPS. Okay, now I'll enable XCFG. Just open mod menu. Click on the drop down bar next to FG source and select DLSS GYS Streamline as the option. The game officially supports DLSS frame gen and a streamline version newer than version 2. So this option will work just fine. Games hard elements won't flicker. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG as the option. Click on save INI. Close. We need to restart the game. Play. In game settings, click on the drop down bar next to frame generation and select DLSS frame gen as the option. See, setting got unlock, upscaler DLSS, rest of the settings same as before. Launch the game. Yeah, once the game loads up, open OptiScaler menu and check the setting active under frame generation. This will enable XCSS frame gen, frame time graph will become thick like this. Check the setting debug view. If XCFG is working, you will see these purple sidebars flickering can observe the add amount of smoothness and just uncheck debug view and check this setting show detected ui and this is very important only the game's ui element should be highlighted pink in color complete display should not be highlighted pink in color games ui elements they won't exhibit any flickering with xcfg enabled i'll just uncheck this setting save and i close yeah fps is close to 120 Latency is not an issue. XCLL is doing a good job of keeping the latency in check. It's mentioned under frame rate section, current method XCLL. And our character model is not flickering, not observing any ghosting around Ellie's character model. I'll go for a ride. The smoothing effect, it's very consistent with the latest build of OptiScaler. Smoothing effect was a bit inconsistent. 
our horse's shadow it's not flickering during fast visual motion yeah fps increased to around 140 it can be a bit variable in this area 120 to 140 with xcfg enable not bad at all yeah dlss debug oval is flickering and just disable it after verifying the upscale as details its job is done subtitles they are not flickering I'll show you some combat, load another area, above 100 FPS at all times in the big open area. Area load up, playing as heavy, and look at these undead creatures trying to climb the fence. FPS is close to 130, more of these creatures, I just killed them. It's a very smooth experience with Optiscaler XCFG. Highly recommended to use it instead of the in-game FSR frame generation implementation. Oh my god, this thing grabbed me. I don't remember the keyboard controls now. Before ending the video, I'll show you how to disable DLSS debug overlay. Just need to edit the overlay.reg file that we created earlier. Select the file, right click, open with notepad, replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close. Select the file, right click, open. Yes, okay, that's it with the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.